Right then guys, a uh, little bit different today. We're going to have a go at the government communication headquarters uh, Christmas card puzzle that they released yesterday. That's Monday the 13th of December uh, 2021. Um, so uh, I'm going to pop it on the screen now uh, and there'll be a link to download it uh, in the description. Uh, have a go at it. It's aimed at 11 to 17 year olds. Uh, so some of them are okay, some of the questions, some of them I struggled with a bit. Uh, it's going to involve a bit of logical thinking and general knowledge uh, and then once you've had a good go come back here and we'll go through the solutions okay so here we've got the seven symbols relating to the seven answers to the questions not in order um, oh, so we'll have to fill them in link them to the image and then fill them in hopefully that will uh, spell out a message uh, this is the first question so we have clue here Reading initials spells this message's answer. Simple. So yeah, they, they increase in difficulty from uh, from question one to seven. Uh, this one, I think you've all got it. it. Reading the initials, the initials of each letter, of each word, spells the answer, and that is C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S, Christmas. So a nice, uh, nice easy one to get us started. Uh, which symbol does that link to uh, probably the present right so let's put it in there provisionally we might be wrong but I think because it could be the reindeer or the crown with the kings but I think it's gonna go there okay so let's do the next question right so next question we've got a grid to fill in like a mini crossword uh, again nothing crazy I'll read the first clue is this is the word you want so I think that's a, a who's on first style thing uh, and it's, it should be written, this is the word you want. And therefore, uh, that's our four little word. The second question, uh, noise made by an owl. Well, that's a, a hoot. Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, US state with capital, how do you say that? No idea. It's Iowa, where Kirk is from. And last thing is an adult male deer is a stag. However, the word we wanted was this. Uh, stag is the clue, so I suspect the answer here goes here uh, this Christmas. That looks good so far. Okay, so let's go on to question three. Okay, question three, what comes next in this sequence? Well, these are the uh, Griffin doors, uh, the Harry Potter's house. And then we have Hufflepuff, but with some letters missing. And then we have uh, the other one was Ravenclaw with some letters missing. And we need to know uh, what's the fourth one. Well, the fourth house was Slytherin. This one had no letters missing. This one had one letter missing on the beginning and end. This one has two letters missing on the beginning and end. So if we remove the three letters now from the beginning and end of Slytherin, we get the. So that goes on one of these. Now I think Harry Potter was famous for his uh, scar on his forehead. It was in the shape of a lightning bolt. So I think that's going to go there. Okay, so far so good. Question four, they're getting trickier. Right, so question four, if you've played Minesweeper on your computer, you'll be, uh, shouldn't have had too much trouble with this one. I started this side trying to find where the mines were and struggled a little bit. As with a lot of puzzles, if you start from the end, that can sometimes give you a, a little bit of a clue. So we'll start here. Now we know that um, this can have no mines here, here or here, because it's outside of the grid. Therefore, these, these four mines must be here. How does it go like that, wouldn't it? Well, anyway, I'm just going to one two three four uh because there's no mine here because that's got a number on it uh so that means none of these are mines uh that can't be a mine because this has two around it already and these can't be mines because this has two around it so we have here you can see it's the shape of an e capital e okay uh use the same logic here this must be a mine 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 uh, this has three mines around it one two not here so this one must be a mine uh, this this isn't this isn't this isn't this has two around it 
so this one must be as well so now we have an F F E ends in uh, let's have a look here okay so we look at now we look at this square here this has two minds none of these are so therefore these two must be that means that isn't uh, let's think then what, what about if this one was hmm well we can use our common sense here it's looking like a shape like this how about if we say it's an A uh, does that work one around there one there two there three there well maybe one of these is a thing is a mine okay uh, okay I'm gonna go with that so we have a, a four letter word beginning AFE what could it be well I think safe oh, I can't think of any other words does it work one around here two four three two one okay great. so our word is safe uh, there's only really one option here it's nothing to do with prams or footballs or or crowns it's got to be the lock okay so far so good that was a little bit trickier uh, but again if you've done minesweeper shouldn't have had too much trouble with it okay question five I struggled with this one um, these are scientific words uh, do kindly place cover on fresh green spring vegetables um, now I was thinking about these is it the, there are nine of them I thought is it the nine planets there aren't nine planets there are only eight uh, also no planet begins with D or K um, is it elements deuterium krypton uh, palladium I don't know phosphorus um, I really really thought about it physicists Dirac Kepler um, why would Kepler be here all right so anyway after about uh, 10 minutes I realized it's probably a biology uh, question because I'm not great at biology um, so I thought maybe digits knees patella something to do with the knees no nope. um, and then it just came to me I don't know all of them species domain order variety don't know what that is but anyway so that'd be kingdom so domain kingdom phylum whatever leave in the comments if you know the answer but anyway kingdom works for me I'm happy with it we've got a crown here let's stick it in see what happens okay struggling now question six right so we've got here a bit more of a maths question Venn diagrams right um, we want to know what six letter word replaces this uh, this question mark so what we've got let's look at this circle this has a the E S E L D followed by that six letter word this one has W C N T A E S E and L followed by that six letter word and this one has M H R A T N C E S E followed by that six letter word okay again I struggled with this one it's not my uh, not my area of expertise uh, but look we've got a pram or football left so um, I'm gonna assume it's a football question and then we've got here what, what do I know about football I know about Manchester United right And there we go then Leeds United and what's this one Newcastle but the point is they all end in United so let's stick our United there something you the United Kingdom safe this Christmas great that makes sense kind of let's see what the first words gonna be question seven right so question seven it looks like a some sort of substitution substitution cipher um, I thought uh, I first thought it might be a translation thing um, where you just shift each letter along by X number of places in the alphabet uh, but uh, our first clue is this 7 CW now there's only th one thing it could be it's got to be seventh right 
but C and H are different distances apart than C and W, so it's not going to be a, a translation, it's just going to be a straight swap, I think. Well, let's try it and see what happens. Um, so we've got C becomes T, I'm going to write them down here, and W becomes H. Okay, uh, we can now fill this in here. D has to be K, commonly known as, well we've got K for beer. Right, people born between 1946 and 1964 are commonly known as baby what? Well, I think the answer pretty easy. Baby boomers. And let's convert this now back into, uh, into black. See what we get. B is K, O is E. <coughs> M is P, E is I, R is N, and S is G. So we didn't have all of the letters, but it doesn't matter, we had the ones we needed to make that. So now we've got one left, where there's a pram baby. And there we have the answer. Keeping the United Kingdom safe this Christmas. Uh, blowing their own trumpet a little bit. But hey, I enjoyed the puzzle and I hope you did too. But that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you next time.